Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. I am Nizalana binti Muhammad Amin from Group B1 and today I'm going to present you the introduction to differentiation. To begin with, I would like to explain briefly about the dif definition of differentiation. The definition of differentiation in mathematics is the process of finding the derivative of a function. When we want to find the derivative of a function, we have to use some techniques of differentiation and also some algebraic manipulation. As an example, I have y equals to x squared. If you want to find the derivative, we have to apply the techniques of differentiation and also do some algebraic manipulation to get the derivative. So that is just some brief explanation about differentiation. Moving on to the next slide is the application of differentiation. We have related change, Rolle's theorem and mean value theorems, applied maximum and minimum problems, and many more. But today, we want to focus on applied maximum and minimum problems as it is the topic that we choose for our assignment. In our daily life, we can apply the maximum and minimum problems to find the company profit. and lastly to find the least dimension of a carton that is to contain a given volume. As an example here, I have a heart. I can relate to the maximum and minimum problems to find the maximum or minimum values of, a, of woods to build a heart and also relate the maximum and minimum problems to find the minimum, pro minimum base area to make this heart sturdy and stable. I will now pass the presentation to my other friends to to make a deeper explanation about how to solve a maximum and minimum problems. Hello everyone, so I will present to you about problem statement and objective of the maximum and minimum problem. So let's move to the next slide. Problem statement. The diagram below shows a rectangle A, B, C, D. A, P, B and C, Q, D are semicircles. Given the area of A, B, C, D is 200 cm squared, as shown in the diagram. A. Show the perimeter of the diagram. P cm is given by P equal to 200 pi per x plus 2x. B. Find the maximum perimeter of the diagram. So the general objective of maximum and minimum problem is to identify the quantity that need to be maximized or minimized. As stated in the problem statement B, the actual question wants us to find the minimum perimeter of the diagram. But our team found out that this question is incorrect. The correct question is we need to find the maximum perimeter of the diagram. To make it easy for you, here I have stated the general step for solving maximum and minimum problems to help you. First, you must draw an appropriate figure and label the quantities relevant to the problem. Second, Find a formula for the quantity to be maximized or minimized. Identify the quantity to be maximized or minimized as a function of one variable. Third, find the, val find the value of x when dy per dx equal to 0. Fourth, find d squared y per dx squared and substitute x from step 3 to difference between maximize and minimize value. Fifth, to determine the value of y whether maximize or minimize, substitute x into y. If you find it is hard for you, Izati will help you to Izati will help you in detail about how to solve this problem. Thank you. That's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Izati binti Muhammad Saleh from class B2. So, I'm 
So today I will explain about step by step problem solving of maximum and minimum problems. Based on the question given by Fatia, we need to analyze the equation first before uh, we answer the question. So based on the equation, we are given the area of ABCD which is uh, 200 centimeter cube. So before we answer the equation, we need to find what is the formula used in this equation. So firstly, we need to find the area of the red. We can use the formula of area of rectangle which is length times width and secondly is length of arc which is uh, pi r because we have two arc here which is from A to B and C to D. So next is we use the parameter formula by we add uh, the length of two arc and two sides of the rectangle which is here. So firstly, uh, we need to show the parameter of the diagram which is PCM is given by P equal to 200 pi over x plus 2x. So firstly, we use the area of ABCD given to find the length of its sides. So this is the x value and this is the y value. So uh, from the uh, given area, x times y equals to 200 centimeter cube. So y equal to 200 over x cm. So the area of uh, the length of c and d is 200 over x cm. So c to d is we can find this is a semicircle. So half of the diameter is the radius. So 200 over x need to be divided by 2 to find the radius of uh, the semicircle C to D. So uh, from the parameter equation, we substitute Y over 2 to the radius value. So we get the answer 200 pi over X plus 2X. Okay, and then uh, we find the maximum parameter of the diagram. So firstly, we need to draw the appropriate figure and the label the quantities relevant to the problems. So this is the shape that we have uh, draw here. So second is find the formula for the quantity to be maximized or minimized. So based on the equation, we need to find the maximum parameter. So which is uh, this is the equation p equal to 200 pi over x plus 2x. Step 3, we need to find uh, the value of x when dy over dx equal to 0. So, we need to uh, differentiate first the parameter equation and equal it to 0 to find the value of x. So, we got two answer here which is negative and positive value. So, it is not logic uh, for length is negative. So, we only choose the positive. Next, uh, step 4. We find the second differentiation of the parameter equation and then subs x from 3. So, we get the answer here after we second differentiate it is negative 400 pi over x cubed. So, we insert the x value that we get from the step 3. So, we insert it, we get a negative value. So, if after we uh, second differentiation the equation, we got the negative value so the the x value is choose to be the maximum value of the parameter and then if we got the second differentiation value is negative and uh, positive and the it is mean that x value can give to minimum parameter so from step 5 uh, we subs x value to the first equation so we got p equal to 1770.9 cm so uh, this is the maximum parameter which is 70.9 cm what is the conclusion that we got from this video mm, 
firstly, uh, we need to find the quantity that needs to be maximized is identified, which is the uh, maximum parameter of the shape. And secondly, the x value is determined, which is 17.73 cm. And thirdly, the value of parameter when start with x, which is 70.9 cm. So lastly, objective are achieved. Um, so we achieve uh, all the answer for this question by using uh, differentiation.